captains and the referees. Here's the Harborview lineup. Changing goal, Romario Palma comes in for Glenroy Samuel. Orderland Harding remain Brackenbridge, Garth Stewart and Akima Jones, the back four that has started for predominant uh, part of the, this season. Tidalo Chukwemeka, Demar Rose and Trey Bennett in the middle of the park. Ruan Brown, Omar Thompson and David Reed, the youngster at the top. They're coached by Ludlow Bernard, 4-3-3. That's how they line up. Getting ready for the Mullines United lineup. They line up as a 4 4 2. Peter Harrison in goal, Enrique Gordon, Adane Samuels, Sean Duar, and Romario McPherson. The back four, Jeremy Nelson, Johnny Flemings, Ronaldo Barrett, and Javon Brown. The midfielders, and Dante Duncan, uh, a relatively new signing for them. His first start is Dante Duncan, and Jason Wright up top. Of course, the leading scorer is Jason Wright. Yeah, Wright coming in fresh off. Full match highlights. Harborview coming forward. We're giving that one away rather. And uh, Ronaldo Barrett was alert to the opportunity. Couldn't bring it on target. Dante Duncan in the first half having the best opportunity for more lines. Forcing a double save from Romario Palma. Another look at it. Palma there in the thick of things. Did have an injury scare there. Harborview on the other end. We're trying to create some opportunities for themselves. This header from Omar Thompson forcing a save from Peter Harrison. Doing well at his near post. 30 seconds later, going low and eking that one out from the goal. And the Lions kept in courtesy of his own brilliance. Brian Brown there causing bewilderment from the coaching staff. That was the end of the first half. Second half action now, Malines trying to get in the thick of things. Jason right there, firing straight to Garth Stewart. Again, turning, getting the opportunity, unable to connect with the ball though. Jason Wright, the leading goal scorer for this team. But Jeremy Nelson came forward. Daniel Hardy, the substitute collected. And what a delivery to the back of the net. Beating Palma at the near post with fury. Daniel Hardy, what a strike. 1 0 for Malines. The sports make that moment. Sue, loving the action. Harborview, they continue to try to fight. And at the end, Tyrese Williams, another substitute for Harborview, forcing a save out of Peter Harrison. And at the death, unable to keep their hopes alive. And that was the final whistle. Kelsa Anderson calling things off in this uh, fixture in the Rene for Jamaica Premier League. Full time stats. Five shots on target from 11 attempts, three from six from the lines. 19 fouls producing five yellow cards, four to Harborview, only one to the lines. There were three offsides, two of them to Harborview. They had six corners, only one from the lines. Two saves made by Palma in goal, five made by Peter Harrison, and that pretty much kept them in the game. Harborview having the line share of the possession 59%. But Malines with the all important goal, the Bob Marley, the one love. And what love is being shown to the goalkeeper, Peter Harrison. He stands back ready for the man of the match interview. Peter, clean sheets have been hard to come by for Malines. How big was this one today? This one was a very important one. You know. Every match we play from now is a final. I want to stay in the league and keep playing top right football in Jamaica. You're very vocal, especially in the first half with that double save. Mm -hmm. uh, just talk to me what goes through your mind when there's not a lot of action happening down by your end, a.k.a. in the second half, and then turn up with that big save just near the end. Yeah, we have to keep focusing you know, right throughout the game because in previous game, we're, 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 we're dropping points at the 90, 91 minutes. So it was a very crucial save at the end. Throughout the season, the defence line has changed. Uh, talk to me about how that chemistry is going and how the team is building on that. Um, going forward, there is a lot of changes in the team. You know? The team playing better, you know, at, at soft to the coaches. 
I believe them doing a good job, you know, defensively. And all we have to do is move forward from here. Well, you've moved forward one place up again into ninth position. Congrats on your performance. Enjoy the Man of the Match award. Thank you. Peter Harrison there, keeping a clean sheet for Malines en route to a Man of the Match performance. A 1-0 win for Malines. And in fact, the first time that Malines have ever defeated Harbour View in the Jamaica Premier League.